My name is Damien Rock. I'm an exercise writer and it's my job. Yeah, I typically get up at, you know, five five o'clock in the morning and get up and get ready for work, have a little bite, let my dog out, and then head straight here. Hey boy. I come in and get my first horse here. Gotta have a dream, her name is. Morning. She's actually running tomorrow. Then I go down and finish off my the rest of my job down at the other barn. Hey. How you doing? Is she going out this morning? Are you getting on this horse, I guess? I I don't know. Let me call and ask. Yeah, I, I was getting the wrong horse ready until two minutes ago. <laughs> you gotta go back over here. We're gonna get the memo. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I guess I was wrong about that horse going out early this morning. Charlie has um, changed plans. He wants to bring her up later when it's bright out and show her the paddock um, before she runs tomorrow, get her used to it. Gonna go back down and ride at the other barn and come back up here later when it gets a bright out and my fourth set. I always loved animals and I took a real liking to horses when I was about 10 years old. We used to have a bunch of gypsies that lived close by our house and they had horses just roaming around and so me and my buddies used to go over and when they weren't looking we'd jump up on their horses and ride them around the field. I dropped out of school and went to the jockey school. When I hit 19 I grew almost a foot. It was too heavy then and so I just stuck with the exercise and I'd rather this any day. Okay, 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 come on. Hey girl. Okay, I'll be getting on Wise Dan is my next set and he just breezed yesterday so more than likely he'll just be jogging and I'll set my tech for my third set which is birdie on one. This is Turtle Lars brother. It's a little chilly in it. Have you got gloves? Yeah. All right. I'm, I'm not too bad after my first set now. Yeah. Oh, All of you little Florida babies are like little girls. You didn't have nobody to keep you warm. No, she kicked me out last time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think when you're working, when you're riding it, your first set is cold, but then after that you're okay. Yeah, he's just going to um, jog one turn around the training track. Yeah, just loosen up his muscles a little bit. He's worked, worked really hard yesterday. Yeah. So did I. <laughs> I worked a lot harder. <laughs> Yeah, you're a good boy. Hi, buddy. Hi, honey. Hi, sweetheart. <laughs> and don't be calling me that around people, will you? How you doing? <laughs> God, he came out that good, huh? <laughs> andale, andale, amigo! He's feeling happy today. Watch out! That's in there. Yeah. It's always a little worrying when a horse breezes that fast if they're gonna be sound the next day, you know. Charlie said he didn't sleep much last night. <laughs> I'm like this. I couldn't have gone. I couldn't have gone any slower. Birdie on one, which is this guy here, and um, he's gonna breeze today. So 
just nice, you know, just go up. Tree quarters. And just pick it up every pole. Okay. Big bird. This horse is gonna go three quarters of a mile and it's his first three quarters, so start off easy and try and come home strong. If you think he's got a bit of talent, he should. He's turtle ears, brother. <laughs> The dangers of the job is, you know, if they get in some kind of an accident with a horse. Nine out of ten times you get up, you brush it off. You go on about your day, you might get a bit muscle sore. A bad fall, you end up in the hospital with a broken bones and, you know, that's oh, the, really the downfall of the job. I guess I'm lucky enough where I don't think about it all the time and they say the older you get, the more you start thinking about it and, you know, you'll see some people do have do think about it a little and I'm a little nervous when they get on, you know, some of the, the tougher horses or the horses that are a little wild. He went good, but that was his first three quarters and, you know, by himself he kind of he got a little tired, but then as soon as he got tired he wanted to give in. So, I, you know, they're going to take his time, but he might need blinkers in the end because he doesn't want to give you what he's got. He's definitely a lot better than what he went. Yeah, it's just like after about even like after like three eighths of a mile, like he's coming around the bend, he's kind of starting to try and slow down or put the brakes on a little bit. And, um, the first quarter, he's he's going along nice, but then after that, he's kind of. I'll work him with something. Yeah. I'm. Um, I just got done with most of my horses down the bottom barn now, and we've got one more at the top barn. We're gonna bring her over to the paddock and let her see the paddock and stand her over in the gates and just give her a bit of experience before she runs tomorrow. So it's not all new to her. Morning. Hey, how you doing? Not bad. Everything good? You're not going to fall off today, are you? Not if you stay out of my way. <laughs> <laughs> Girly girl, we have no none of that s now. Oh, okay. okay, mama. Woo, she's on fire. They say you make more money freelancing, but really you don't. It's up and down. There's busy times, and then there's some times where you're walking around looking for horses, and then there's other times when you can't ride enough horses. Oh, it feels great. A salary job, you know your check is there every week. You don't have to worry. You can spend more time with your horses, and you relax them more. It's a lot safer. If you're on salary, you got your vacation pay, you got stake checks coming in off horses, your percent, which if you're in the right spot, you're making more money than someone who's freelancing. When you're freelancing, you don't get stake checks or any kind of that, you know. Reminds me of riding races when I come in here. I always miss it then when I come in here. That's all I miss is the actual race. I don't, that, like, yeah. trying to diet and putting up all the bullshit. I, I get my little rush when I breeze in the morning. Yeah, whatever. Friday. Mm. Maybe I'll go for one more. One more? Let her relax a little more. You're gonna have to just stick your head down, girl, before we can leave. She probably thinks that she's coming out to race right now, especially when we go back to the gate. <laughs> the most satisfaction you get is the likes of when the races comes on now, and we've been working these horses all winter long, and we're waiting around, and and you're kind of getting excited to see them run and see how much all your hard work. She's doing great. Good, yeah, just stood in there, perfect. That's all we can do. The rest is up to her. Oh, They're nervous about her tying up. Well, she tied up about two weeks ago, so I like to keep her moving and try and keep her relaxed. And if they stop too soon, that's when everything starts to seize up. It's almost like an engine with no oil. Going down and clean tech. How's it going, man? All right. Today was a real good day. We had that filly I just got off. You know, she's running tomorrow, so we've been 
doing a lot of work with her for the last couple of weeks and I had a pretty light morning this morning and usually I get on more than four horses. Was, we breathed a lot of horses yesterday. If I wasn't exercising the horses, I would, you know, if something happened or when I get older and I can't, and I would hope to be working with horses in some way, you know. I would like to be an assistant trainer at the racetrack, but I wouldn't mind being, you know, help manage a farm or something. This is a good day. Something, something outdoors. And really, if, you, if I wasn't to be with horses at all, I wouldn't know. I couldn't even think of what I would be doing, I'm, I'd be lost. <laughs>